Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome Camogelo, Buckland, Luandle. We've got also Ayabonga, Lukwazi, Lutando, Wanga. We've got RR, Rose Oratile, RR, if you can. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's an initial. If, if you have a, 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 another name, you can just type it in there as well. So today we're going to be carrying on with algebraic equations, if you can look at the screen. Um, and I'd like you to, while we wait for everybody to join, just try the question on the screen. We tried something very similar the last time. If you can just try this on the screen and write down the answers, which should be on the right-hand side here. So we've got all the answers here. See, on the right-hand side, four answers. You can just get the answers and you're welcome to type them in the chat, but we are going to be looking at them very shortly. Welcome, Bontle. Ayabonga, you've given some, are you giving some answers? Great, thanks for that. I hope the others also share their answers so we can all compare our answers and see what we all get. You saying? So one is eighteen and one is seventeen. You said eighteen and then seventeen, yeah. Then twelve. Twelve. Is eight. Thirty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Okay, I see some of you. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Thank you for that. I see we've got a little bit of different answers here from Ayabonga. The rest of you can also share, then we can compare. Welcome to those just joining now. Camogelo. Okay, got lots of different answers here. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to give it another minute and then we can check and compare. So you can quickly input your answers in the chat if you have any answers. And then we're going to chat about them and see what answers you all get. Okay, I think it's time we can have a look at all your answers. So the, how do we do this? Now, if you look at the screen, you can see 
two, we've got two here on the top left. Then we've got times by two here in the middle. And then we have plus eight. So that's how we do it, right? So we're going to say two times two plus eight. So two times two is four plus eight is 12. So I'm just gonna minimize this and we can have a look here at how we can write this. So we're gonna say two times two plus eight and that gives us 12. Is that okay? How to find that? Okay, so two times two plus eight. So let's look at the next one. It's going to be four times two plus eight. And what is four times two plus eight? 16. 16, let me look at the answers. Some of you, yes, a lot of you said 16. Thank you, Ayabonga. Um, who else? Thank you, Aratile, Camogelo. Thank you for that, great. So it is, the first one is 16. Eight plus eight is 16. The next one is eight times two plus eight, and we get for the eight times two is eight. Remember we use board mess rules. First the times and then the plus, so eight times two is 16 plus eight is 24. 24, let me have a look and see who's got the right answers. Okay, we've got here 24 from Oratile. We've got 24 from Ayabonga. We've got who else? We've got Adriel. Welcome, Adriel. Also 24. Well done. Okay, great. So we've got 24 there. The next one is with 10, 10 times 2. So it's 10 times two uh, plus eight. So 10 times two is 20 plus eight is 28. Is that right? Yes, yes that's right. Eh? Great. Some of you said 32. Let's check. It can't be 32. If we check again, we see it can't be 32. Eh? Okay. Okay, and then we've got the last one there, which is 12. Um, I think if you're not asking a question, you mute. I'm hearing a lot of noise. Um, if you're not asking a question, if you can kindly mute yourself, that would be great. Sorry about that. Um, Okay, so then I've got 12 times 2. Oops, oops, I mustn't write it there. So it's 12 times 2 um, plus 8. 24 plus 8 is 32. There we go. So it's 32 is the last answer. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay, cool. Any questions related to this? Because you're gonna try your own one now. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, so it is 32 for the last one and we use the Podmes rule throughout, right? Okay. So let's try another one. Are you all ready to try your own one? Well, this was your own one because you did try it, but we're going to try another one. Are you ready to try another one? Yes. Okay, great. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. 
going to give you a few minutes to try the whole thing and then we'll compare answers, right? Welcome, KK. We've got Nikita also joining us. Okay, um, Luandle, you got your hand up. Do you have any questions? So when are we gonna do the, 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 the questions for ourselves? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that, Luandle. I see it didn't project. There we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go, there we go. Oopsie. Okay, so you can try this one here. Thanks for letting me know, Luandle. You can try this one here out. Okay. I think we can label them A, B, C, D. Let's say this is A, B, C, D, and E. There we go. Sure, getting lots of answers. And I'm just gonna let you know for A, it is two plus one, right? Times eight, right? So that's how the rule works, right? Oh, wow. So number A has to be 10, then number B has to be 12, then number C is 16, then number D is 18. Okay, I see that, yeah, your rule is a little bit different. So the rule needs to be, so um, you see for the first one, it's two plus one times eight. So first you add and then you times, right? So we can say two plus one first and then times by eight, right? So it will be two plus one, which is three, then times by eight. So the first one should be 24. Does that make sense? Oh, wait, right. there's another show. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. So it's two plus one, which is three times eight, which is 24 for the first one, right? Okay, and then you can find the others. Also, um, no, my A, I made a mistake, it's 24. 24 years. Thank you. I see B, a lot of you are saying 40. So 40, why? Because it is two, sorry, four plus one. Times eight, okay. And then C, we have eight plus one, which is nine. Times eight is 72. And then we've got D, which is 10 plus one, which is 11 times eight, which is 88. And then lastly, we have 12 plus one times eight. Yeah, 12 plus one, which is 13 times eight. And a lot of you are saying 104, 13 times eight. The numbers are getting quite large. <laughs> I'm having to also put my thinking caps on. <laughs> 13 times 8 is indeed 104. Okay. So 104. Well done, everybody. You gave great answers. So let's just check again. So the first one, I'm just looking at some of the comments here. Uh, I've got Lutanda. We've got Adriel, who said 24. Um, we've got B, which is 40. I've got Adriel. I've got Lutando. Again, who stole me 40. Okay. Then I've got 72 for C. Ayabonga, thank you for that. Um, okay. And then I've got D, which is 88. Thank you for that. Adriel also. And a lot of you have given me Luandle, thank you. 104 for the last one. Okay, and thanks to the others for the answers as well. Oratile, Rose, and then Camogelo, thanks for your answers. Okay, yeah, so that's 104. Um, so we've got, like I said, first the two plus one. So two plus one, the first one, times eight. So first we add, then multiply, right? So first add, then we multiply. Okay, is everybody okay with this? Any questions from you? Let's see if there's any questions. No, no, no questions. Sir. Okay, Buckland, KK, Nikita, Rose Aratile, Samkelo, RR. Any questions? Nope. No? How's nope. the sofa? Is it easy? Nope. Yes, sir. It's easy. Okay. You're finding it easy. Okay. Okay. Great. So we can now move on to um, more on equations. Are you ready to move on? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, what's happening with this it's jumping around? Okay. So we've got here, it says, Complete the table below, then answer the questions that follow. So what are we going to do with this today? Let's have a look. So this is what we need to do. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so we can see. So we've got your x, 2x plus 3, and 3x minus 10. And we've got lots of numbers on the top. 
0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 right at the end. So what do we do here? We're going to look at something called substitution. Okay, so what do we do here? In the place of x, we're going to plug in these values because this table is telling us that the x equals these values. So x equals zero, x equals five, x equals 10, x equals 15, x equals 20, x equals 25, x equals 30, 35, and 40. And every time we see x, we're gonna plug in that value. So let's look for the first one, two x plus three. So you're going to need um, a little bit of paper for this because you won't be able to fit everything, in, all the calculations into the table. Um, I mean, I could write smaller and, and fit it in, but it will be very messy. So I'm going to just write some of them on the side here. So let's look. So if we got 2x plus 3, I'll write it here on the top. The first one tells us what's the value of x here in the first one. If one of you, a few of you can unmute and just shout out the answer. What's the value of X in the first one? It is zero. zero. So that means in the place of X, we're going to put zero. So we're going to say two times zero plus three. What is two times zero? Zero. 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 And what's zero plus three? Three. three. Okay. You're going to fill in this whole top part here the same way I just did this one, right? Let's look at the next one. I'm going to do two with you, then you're going to do the, the rest of it. What are we going to plug in the place of X for the next one? Five. Five. So it's two times five plus three. What's two times five? Two times five is 10, 10. plus three is? 13. 13. Right. I'd like you to find all the rest for me. And then you stop at 40 and then we compare, right? Let's fill in the top part. Um, I'll give you a, about, say, three minutes or four minutes, I think. Maybe five. It, it, it does seem a bit a lot of work. Yeah, maybe try all of them. And we're going to compare once, right? Will you be able to do that? Yes. Okay. Right, let's try it out. Please shout if you get stuck or if you need help. So you're gonna fill in all the dots on the screen. Keep sharing your answers. Thank you for them. We can all then compare. Okay.
Yay. You, you all are on a roll. That's really good. I can see some really great answers. I'm going to start filling it in and then you can just shout if I'm making a mistake. Um, I've got a hand raised here by, uh, who is this? Piwo. Piwo, you've got your hand raised. Do you have any questions? I don't understand. You don't understand. Any of them, Piwo? Yes. Okay. So what you're going to do, Piwo, um, did you just join now, Piwo? Piwo? Mm -hmm. I said, did you just join now? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm just going to go no, through this. No, wait. Um, We've got here 2x plus 3, right? This is the one we're working with, right? Yes. And we plug in all these yes. values in the place of x. So the first one is 0. So you yes. say 2 times 0 plus 3. And 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3. And that's where we get three see the next one in the place of x we plug five yes so we're going to say two times five yes which is 10 plus three which gives us 13 mm -hmm. next one we're plugging in what 10 two times 10 is two 20 20 plus three is 23. And that's how we get these answers. Does it make sense? Oh, yes, I understand. Okay, then oh. we keep doing that up until we get 40, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so thank you so much. Rose, Oratile, Lutando, Adriel, Orati uh, is it Oratile? We've got two Oratiles. Hey, Coco. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have such a hard time doing the register later. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I think the one has just joined recently. Okay. Welcome to both of you. I just saw the names now. Uh, we've got also Luanle. Thanks for your answers. Great. Lutando. Excellent. Wanga. Those are really good answers there. Kamohele also. Ayabonga. Shoo. Sure. Literally all of you have sent through your answers. That's really, really amazing. Well done. Okay. So we filled in the first part. Let me put ticks here because I think these answers, you've all gave me the answers and they're all the same. So they're all correct. Let's try the next one, which is 3x minus 10. So I'm going to erase this part on the top and we're going to see what are we doing with that one? How is it different to the other one, right? So the only thing that's different is you're just going to minus 10 there. So it's 3x minus 10. So when x is 0, we're going to say 3 times 0 minus 10, 0 minus 10. What is 0 minus 10? Zero. Anybody want 0 minus 10 is? Negative 10. Yes. Then we plug 5 in there. Three times five is 15. So 15 minus 10 is? Five. 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 Let's complete the rest of the table. You can fill in this for me. And then we'll see, we have the answers. Let's fill in the whole table.
Yeah, keep sharing. Thanks for that. Really great. Okay, I'm going to start filling in because I've got so many answers now. But you can keep giving me your answers and I'll fill in as we go along. I've got your minus 10, I've got 5. Uh, then I see I've got 20, got 10. What do you give? You give me 35, 4, 15. Then for 20, you gave me 50. For 25, you gave me 65. For 30, you gave me 80. For 35, you gave me 95. And for 40, you gave me 80. I'm waiting for more answers. I've got actually different answers for 40, so I need some more people to tell me the answers so I can check. You said 110. Yes. 110. Well done. Mm. So you can just check now you know, all these answers and compare yours. So we've got all these answers, right? So here we've plugged in these values in the place of um, X, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Everybody's fine with this. Um, do you have any questions regarding this table? No, sir. It's easy, sir. It's, it's easy. easy. Okay. How are you feeling about it? Is it easy? Let's look. Okay. No question. Then it's easy. Okay. Now the first question says, can you find a solution for 2x plus 3 equals 3x minus 10 in the table? Can you find a solution for this in the table? How do we know if it's a solution? Remember what we said in the equation, it must be balanced. That means the left-hand side must equal the right-hand side, right? So in equations, for equations to be balanced, the left-hand side must equal the right-hand side. Is there a place where the 2x plus 3 and the 3x minus 10 have the same solution? Like when we look top to bottom, top to bottom, is there a place where the solution is the same in both the top one and the bottom one? Excuse me. Is there a place where the top solution and the bottom solution are the same? The numbers on the top and the bottom are the same. So I'm saying, like, is there a place where, for example, this number is equal to that number? Is there a place on this table where that happens? Yes, sir. And where is that? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, we start, uh, no, we start. there isn't, eh? no, yeah, so there isn't a place where the top equals the bottom. Look, 
there's no way where the top and the bottom are equal. So I'm saying where these ones here equal these ones, there's no way where the top part of the of the table and the bottom part of the table are equal, right? There's no way where that happens, right? Okay. So can you find a solution in the table? The answer is no, because there's no way where the top and the bottom equal to each other, where the solution is the same on top and the bottom, right? Okay. If there was one where the top and the bottom are equal to each other, it means the one side of the equation will equal to the other side and we'll be able to get a solution for X, right? But here we're not able to find a solution from this table. Is that okay? It's a bit of a complicated concept. Um, so please let me know if you're struggling to understand what, what I'm meaning by that. Does, does that make sense that we, we can't find one where the top equals the bottom? So that means the left side of the equation here, here, the left side one will not equal to the right side one according to the table because we don't have values in the table that helps us with that. Therefore, we can't find a solution in the equation. Is, is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Okay. Yes, sir. And why? Because there are no values where the left hand side equals to the right hand side, right? Okay. Okay, we've got another question here. It says, what happens to the values of 2x plus 3 and 3x minus 10 as x increases? As the x increases, what happens to the value of this? Does it become bigger or smaller? Bigger. Okay, I've got one answer. What about the rest of you? Uh, the equation comes bigger. Bigger, so. They become bigger. So it goes bigger. Bigger. Okay, great. Okay. So the values become, uh, as the x values become uh, increased, the, the 2x plus 3 and the 3x minus 10 become bigger. Okay. Is there a point where the value of 3x minus 10 becomes bigger or smaller than the value of 2x plus 3 as the value of x increases? If so, between which x values does this happen? So is there a point where the value of 3x minus 10 becomes bigger or smaller than the value of 2x plus 3 as the value of x increases? If so, between which x value does this happen? The value of 3x minus 10, it becomes bigger more than 2x plus 3 of the value. But there's the point the between which the x of value is that 3x minus 10 is becoming bigger more than the others. Yeah, and at which x value? At, at which x value does that happen? Zero, sir. Zero. Let's look at this, right? So at zero, which one is bigger? Is it the 2x? Um, so at, at zero, is it the 2x plus 3 or the 3x minus 10? Which one's bigger at zero? Three. 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 At zero, the, the top one. Let's call the one top and the bottom, right? So at zero, is the top bigger or the bottom bigger? Yes. The top. The top. top. At five, is the top bigger or the bottom bigger? Bottom. The top. Bottom. The top. Yeah. At 10, is the top bigger or the bottom bigger? The top bigger. The top, bigger. The top is bigger. So, so far, the top has been bigger, correct? At 0, 5, and 10, right? Yeah? Yes. Sir. Now, at 15, yeah. which one is bigger, the top or the bottom? The, the bottom. bottom. So, that is a turning point where this is happening, right? So, yeah. yeah. So, that is where the, the, it's changing, where there is a change. Is that right? Yes. 
So the question says, is there a point where the value of 3x minus 10 becomes smaller or bigger than the value of 2x plus 3 as the value of x increases? Between which x value does this happen? It happens just by 15, around x equals 15. Okay? Yes. Does that make sense? Now let's look. So at 15, which one's bigger? The bottom. And then it looks like at 20, which one's bigger? Top or bottom? Bottom. bottom. At 25? Bottom. At 30? Bottom. Uh, bottom. bottom. It looks like the bottom remains the bigger one then after 15. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. 3x minus 10 becomes bigger than 2x plus 3 from when x is 15 and bigger. Hey? Is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So it's from when x is 15 and larger. So 3x minus 10 becomes bigger than the value of 2x plus 3. From, for, from x equals 15 onwards, right? Okay. So I'm going to write here, I'm going to say here 3x minus 10 becomes bigger than 2x plus 3, right? from x equals 15 onwards. And what does onwards mean from 15 right to the end? Hey? Yes. Right, from x equals 15 onwards. Okay, so 3x minus 10 becomes bigger than 3x, uh, becomes bigger than 2x plus 3 from x equals to 15 onwards. Okay. Everybody happy with that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so from x equals 15 onwards, right? Okay. Now that you've narrowed down where the possible solution can be, okay, so there's a turning point there. What do you think the possible solution can be to this equation? We've got 2x plus 3 equals 3x minus. And what could the possible solution be? Any guesses? What are the guesses? What do you guess the solution is? What is the value of x that when you plug it on the left and you plug it on the right, the solution will be the same? Yeah, let's take some guesses what do you think it will be when what value can you plug in on the left and on the right of the equation for it to be the same x What do you think? Any guesses? You can type in the chat as well. What value of x can you guess works in this equation so that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side? So eight. Okay, I plugged it in. It's not working because eight times two is 16 plus three is 19. And on the right, 8 times 3 is 24, minus 4, 10 is 14. So it doesn't start from 8, go up, and then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, and then let's see 13, 14, and see if you can get a number. Ten, so. 2 times 10 is uh, 20, plus 3 is 23. And on the right-hand side, we've got 3 times 10 is 30, minus 10 is 20. So 10 is not working. So five. Okay. 
So the answer is actually, let's look, some Kelo go one up. It's five, 13. 13. 2 times 13 plus 3 equals 3 times 13 minus 10. So it's 26 plus 3 equals 29. And this one, what is 3 times 13? 3 times 13 is 30. 39. 9 minus 10 is? 29. So, yeah. So it's 29 equals 29, right? So, yeah, we will do much more of these the next time where we'll be able to see how we can solve this, right? But yeah, um, this is it from me for today. Um, thanks for that, Samkelo. And I'm going to hand you over to Coco, the mentor who is going to give you more information. Thank you so much, Teacher Depeche. Um, just to spotlight myself. Hello, everyone. Um, I see a lot of new names, so I'm going to introduce myself again today. My name is Teacher Coco. Um, I am one of the tutors here at Watobi. If you ever have a question and you contact us on the app, I will most likely be the other person answering you on the other side of that chat on the app. Okay, so we're just gonna go through a couple of things. I'm just gonna share my screen quickly. Uh, need to get to that, there we go. Okay, so we're just going to go through what we've looked at today. So today we were using substitution in equations to generate tables or ordered pairs. That's exactly what we were doing. We're looking at um, filling in tables and answering questions about that, which was excellent. You guys are so quick and you guys get the work done so fast. You guys are brilliant, by the way. Okay, then we've got our leaderboard. So for those of you who don't know what the leaderboard is, we are looking at um, the amount of app lessons that we are doing on the app, but looking at algebraic equations specifically. So this is what we're going to be uh, focusing on. And I know over here it says that Ayabonga is first, but we actually have a two-way tie for first. So Ayabonga and Buntle, you are both first. You both are first with six lessons. And Oratile and Pumuzile, you're both second. Um, it's just that I had to write, you know, your name separately. It doesn't mean that um, Buntle, you are second. You're also first, okay? So... Well done, guys. This is amazing. Everybody should be trying this. This is so fun. And you get to um, understand the work a lot better after Teacher Depeche has, um, has actually gone through it with you guys. So keep trying your best, guys. Well done. Okay. Our homework for today, um, I know that we are looking at algebraic equations, but we're going to be clicking on topic and we're going to go to algebraic expressions. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be looking at Underneath, you know, you have to scroll down to simplify algebraic expressions and then look at evaluate an expression with two variables. So kind of like what you guys were doing, plus one times three uh, times two plus four, things like that. So that is the exercise that we're going to be looking at for homework for today. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Thank you guys for joining us. We're going to see you guys again on Monday. That is our next lesson. So you guys have all the way until Monday next week um, to try your homework and get your name up on that leaderboard. I want to see all of you guys there with us um, next time. All right, that's it from us, guys. We're going to see you all next time. Um, same Zoom meeting. If you're stuck, you use the same link that you're on today as well. So we can all unmute and say bye-bye to Teacher Depeche and we will see you guys next week Monday. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. 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 Um, Buckland, if you want to get on the board, just do as many exercises as you can okay, on the app. Bye, Ayabonga. Well done. Bye, Bunke. Well done to you. Thank you. Bye, everybody.